hello welcome to my youtube channel my name is Jutta Aki and today we are going to discuss about congestive heart failure congestive heart failure is a condition where amount of blood pumped by the heart is insufficient to meet metabolic demands of the tissues there are two types of heart failure there is left-sided and right-sided now let's talk about causes of congestive heart failure CAD hypertension valvular disease pericarditis dysrhythmias cardiac tamponade pulmonary hypertension cardiomyopathy which is a irreversible disease once the damage is done it cannot be reversed now let's talk about aggravating factors of uh, CHF stress anemia infection such as pneumonia and urinary tract infection non-compliant with medication thyroid disease tachycardia AFib non-compliant with diet excess salt intake new medication that causes uh, fluid overload such as NSAIDs and uh, TCDs which is a diabetic medication now let's talk about laboratory and diagnostic findings they can do CPC which will show anemia and elevated uh, WPC also they can do a uh, PNP which is going to be elevated kidney function test which is going to show elevated creatinine and PUN liver function test it will show elevated liver enzymes APG show decrease uh, PaO2 and increase PaCO2 they can also do ECG shows hypertrophy or myocardial damage chest x-ray will show a uh, plural effusion cardiomegaly and vascular congestion they can do blood chemistry and magnesium and urine test now let's talk about nursing intervention what a nurse can do when patient is having congestive heart failure administer medication as ordered weigh patient daily monitor el electrolyte perform range of motion place patient in semi fowler position provide rest maintain sinus rhythm monitor blood pressure the blood pressure should be strictly controlled avoid offer of a diuresis or like giving too much fluid maintain sodium restriction now let's talk about types of heart failure which is left side heart failure and right side heart failure let's start with left side heart failure its primary occur in the lungs because of pack up of the blood from pulmonary vein and capillaries due to left ventricular pump failure. Signs and symptoms of left side heart failure is usually mostly lung symptoms such as tachypnea, dyspnea, crack holes, fronty, blood tinge, sputum dry hacking cough increase or decrease blood pressure which you, you can see also in right sided tachycardia fatigue insomnia restlessness pale cold extremities decrease urine output less than 30 ml per hour peripheral and central cyanosis decrease peripheral pulses increase capillary refill greater than three seconds now let's talk about right-sided heart failure occur okay, when right ventricular pump fail thus causing conge congestion system circulation due to 
blood packing up into systemic circulation. Let's talk about signs and symptoms of right-sided heart failure. You will see dependent edema in legs and sacrum, hepatomegaly which is enlargement of liver, splenomegaly which is enlargement of spleen, anorexia and nausea, weight gain due to fluid overload, ascites, weakness, triangular vein distension, increase or decrease in blood pressure which you can see also in left sided abdominal distension now let's talk about patient and or family teachings maintain low sodium high fiber low fat and cholesterol diet avoid over diuresis exercise regularly limit alcohol avoid smoking Avoid using illicit drugs. Weigh yourself daily. Take flu and pneumonia vaccine. Instruct patient about advanced directives. Adhere to medication, diet, and control blood pressure. Provide referrals referral such as hospice for patient who is end stage of heart failure. Now let's talk about medication for CHF. ACEs such as lisinopril, monitor for hypotension, elevated creatinine, and elevated potassium. Beta blockers, it should be started slowly to prevent worsening symptoms. Monitor for bradycardia, heart block, fatigue, and hypotension. Loop diuretics are commonly used, especially furosemide and Lasix, to control to control fluid overload. M make sure if your patient doesn't walk to the bathroom, uh, you can ask provider to order Foley or bedside commode or pure pure because they will void a lot. Decoxin, monitor decoxin uh, toxicity, which is above 2.6. Signs and symptoms of uh, decoxin toxicity are confusion, irregular pulse, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea, anxiety, loss of appetite, fission changes, and the antidote for decoxin is decoxin immune fab or digip fab or digipine. Check apical heart rate for one full minute. If it is less than 60, hold decoxin and notify provider. Also monitor for potassium because hypokalemia increases risk of decoxin toxicity. They usually use aldosterone and agonist, such as uh, potassium sparing to reduce fluid retention, monitor for hyperkalemia and chinocomasia, which is enlargement of breast in men. They also use angiotensin receptor blockers, ARBs such as losartan, nitrates and hydralazin are used in patients who cannot tolerate ACEs. They use warfarin with patients who are having AFib to prevent embolization, monitor for bleeding. Usually they check NI and R and the desirable range is between 2.0 and 3.0. They also check PT and the antidote for warfarin is vitamin K. They can also use uh, antilipemics, which is cholesterol medication. Now let's talk about complication for CHF. Sudden cardiac arrest, blood clots, pulmonary hypertension, PAD, 
AFib, MI, stroke, liver and kidney damage. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe, like and share with your friends.